Hey everyone, this is Daniel, um, and in this video we are going to have a quick uh, review um, of the new Power BI uh, report server. So um, the Power BI report server was released, at least it was in preview mode um, in May of 2017. Um, and so this video blog, which is actually in addition to just a blog, um, does give you a review on that. So uh, you can come to this website and you can download the uh, preview. Um, and that takes you to this page, which is officially the May 2017 preview. And the installation of that, um, or the download of that, actually gives you these three different files. Um, this is the primary primary report server, um, EXE. And then this are the actual uh, Power BI desktops, um, based on if it's a 32-bit machine you have, or a 64-bit machine. And, and we'll talk about more of that in just a minute. Um, in addition, when I was doing the testing, um, I had to have some sample database available. So I got that database, I mean, that information from um, this really friendly sample database and projects, um, which is available. Uh, it, it has a good amount of SQL databases and uh, the analysis database. Um, so I wanted to provide uh, an update on that, um, or at least show you guys where I got that from. And this link is uh, available on the uh, blog as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the um, initial installation part. Um, so after I downloaded those three files I just showed you, I went ahead and ran the Power BI report. Um, I did it on my Windows uh, 2016 server, uh, but you can do that on 2012 or 2012 R2 as well. Um, and after the, uh, uh, and for this installation, I just used my uh, existing SQL server. Um, and in this one, it's a SQL 2016 server, and that goes ahead and uh, creates these two um, uh, databases over here. Um, in addition, it also goes ahead and uh, installs the uh, reporting, the report server configuration manager. Um, I'll, I, I left it on this server, at least for the configuration manager to run but the databases on the SQL server. Um, Another immediate thing that I noticed was the uh, on this reporting services over here, it, it it still runs on the standard native mode, but I also noticed that the, there's a Power BI service uh, cloud functionality available over here. So I noticed that was the new thing um, over here. Um, and when you installed when you installed the um, um, the Power BI report server, uh, it it did go ahead and I mean in, in addition to the reporting it just installed the shell of the Microsoft SQL Server, but it didn't install the whole database and everything. It just gave me the Report Server Configuration Manager. Um, so once I went ahead and installed this, I went through the configuration um, and I added the database over here. That's the one I just showed you. Um, I also went ahead and added the, or created the web portal URL. Uh, and after I was able to configure that, um, I was able to access this page. Um, what my immediate impression over here was the look and feel is so much like the online version over here. So they, they did a really good job on bringing that to the on-prem as well. Um, and it also has the functionalities to create the subscriptions over here, um, you know, create your manage folder, um, and then all of these other uh, new functionalities available here. Um, I have already gone ahead and built some demos, but well, I'll come back to that. Um, Next thing was the installation of the Power uh, BI desktop. Um, and I wanted to take a look at the subtle differences that I noticed. So this Power BI desktop was what I downloaded from the online version. Um, this is what came along with that installation I just talked to you about. And it specifically says that this is the report server. Um, so if, if I were to open up this one here, the Power BI desktop, and once it opens up, Over here, you can see that it is showing the Power BI desktop, and then it's the Power BI and initializing model. And that's pretty standard when it opens up. There's nothing new about that. But as a re as update, that this is what it came with uh, when I downloaded the online one. Um, and so once that will open up, you will see that it does have the option to go ahead and publish it. So, you know, I can go ahead and open all of this up. Um, one of the things was over here, there is the option to publish that on the top ribbon. And it, by default, it just says the Power BI desktop. Um, but 
if now I open the Power BI Desktop Report Server, you see that it says Power BI Report Server. So that, that was a subtle difference that I noticed. Um, the opening up and everything of the application was again pretty standard. When this opened up, a um, couple of things I noticed. You saw that the uh, publishing option on the ribbon was missing, um, or it's it's not available. And then over here it says the Power BI Desktop Report Server. So that's that's a subtle difference that I noticed. Not a big deal, uh, but it was it was a, at least a big difference over here. Um, there is still the option to publish it to the online function uh, version over here. Uh, or the Power BI online, uh, but then you can also just go ahead and do the um, um, export, or I mean, sorry, the save as, and the save as gives you the option to put it to the Power BI report server. Um, so, right, the, one of the first things I tried, and we can do that as a good example, is I uh, open up the report server and I tried to make a data connection to uh, one of the SharePoint on prem lists. So, um, let me see if I still have that resource available here. Uh, the source available. Yeah. So I, this, this over here is a SharePoint 2016 environment. Um, I went ahead and uh, um, made the connection to it. And the connection, again, was pretty standard. Same thing we do with the other uh, BI desktop. Um, I was able to connect to my on-prem SharePoint environment. Um, I just picked up one of the lists that I have. Again, it gives you the pretty standard um, um, preview. Went ahead and loaded that. Um, once that was done, I will go ahead and apply the changes. Uh, I'll just create a simple table because uh, the key thing I want to show you is the um, What else can I put over here? Okay, so let's just keep that as it is. Um, and now when I go to File, Save As, uh, Power BI Report, yep, that is the URL that I have for the report, the one I just showed you. Um, and I'll go ahead and click on that say okay assuming that this report will actually be saved uh, or published to my on-prem power bi report server um, and as i was doing that um, and while i was trying to do that i'll save this as a test to I mean, it's trying to save, it's working on it, it's saving it to the uh, report server, and, and it gives me this message. It says, we can't publish this Power BI desktop report because it contains unsupported data source. The key thing is that the May 2017 preview version only supports um, Power BI desktop reports that will connect to SQL Server analysis services for the on-premises. This is the only one that it'll support right now. So it did not support my on-prem SharePoint list. Um, but it will support the analysis services for the on-prem. Um, so that's what I did. Um, let me go ahead and close that. Um, I have my own SQL Server available over here, and in that one I have uh, my own analysis services um, that I've created. Um, and and on, in the article, I've actually provided some information of how you can get uh, demos of the uh, to create some analysis using the SQL Server analysis and how you can build some of this. Um, and I provided all that in the article, uh, and that's actually what I just mentioned in the uh, beginning. So that's that's basically what I'm doing over there. Um, so let's now open up that desktop again, the Power BI desktop uh, or the report server, and I'll show you the one that I pulled. In fact, we can go ahead and build that again. All right, so it opened up. I will uh, first let me get the data. So let's go ahead and pull the data um, from the database. I want to pull it from SQL Server Analysis Services database. So I'll connect to that. In this case, I want to make sure that the connection is live because that was the requirement uh, for this to work. I'll put in my SQL. Um, 
Service Pack 1. That was the name of my server, so that's what I'm going to put in over here. Um, once you've got all the authentication and everything figured out, everything should work pretty straightforward. Um, and I went ahead and grabbed that analysis services uh, tutorial one, the one I just showed you. Clicked on that. And now I have it here. As you can see, all the tables and the fields have showed up. Um, as an example, let's open up the um, customer table. And I'm going to select this uh, English country region name. And when I do that, um, the reporting, uh, the Power BI desktop was smart enough to automatically create this view for me. And, and all of this data is getting pulled from my SQL Server on-prem. And this, I'm now I'm going to, first let me save that. Let's save it to on-prem test 2. Um, saved it. Now let me go to File, Save as, Power BI Report Server. That's the one. That's my server. So I'll save that. That's OK too. So let's go ahead and publish it. This time it is saving and it did uh, successfully save it. So it didn't give me the same error when I tried it with that SharePoint on-prem list. This time it went ahead and saved it. Again, because I was using the live connection to the SQL Server analysis, which is available on my on-prem SQL Server. So I'll just say, yep, take me there. And it basically just opened up another tab. Um, again, this is the uh, web interface of my Power BI report server. It is opening that up. Right now, it gave me this error. Um, something went wrong. And what happened is, let's take a look. So let's go back to the new one that I posted, which is two. Um, let's go to manage. In the manage, I want to go to data sources. In the data source, it already went ahead and created my connection string. As you can see, it pulls all the information from the analysis and from the correct cube. But I want to make sure that it's credentials is correct so I'll put in my correct authentication do a test said that there's a typo Fix that. Just to be safe, let me put the password again. Let's do the test connection. Connected successfully. So now let me go ahead and save this. So now that I've done that, it is saved. Let's go back again. And so the um, the report that I made on my on-prem over here, I went ahead and published it. It is saving to my Power BI um, on-prem over here. And it's the exact same one, the one we just posted. Um, that little connection error that I had was all to do with the permissions from access to the reports over to the database. It really didn't have anything to do with the application itself. But there you go. I was able to pull data from my on-prem SQL Server uh, from its analysis made sure that the connection was live. Um, I used the specific um, um, Power BI desktop report for the report server. And once I published it, it came to my on-prem Power BI report. So here's the uh, quick review um, or the quick review of the new functionality which is available. This, this is part of the uh, uh, Power BI uh, report server. And I uh, hope you liked it.